What's up? This is Squad2448 with a following 2017 mod review. Today we'll be taking a look at a fire truck, a few pickup trucks, a hook truck, and a mower. Up first, we'll be taking a look at this Ford pump truck. Pretty old fire truck. I really do like the black wheels on it. Does have a lot of chrome and axle. A lot of detail up top there. Uh, gauges. It does have three stripes down the side, which is a pretty cool feature. Traffic cones in the back. Looks like these are steps to kind of get up to the top. And it does have LED lights all the way around. Ladders and a few other emergency tools, which is pretty cool. Once you hop on the inside, it goes 51 miles per hour. When you press keypad 9, all the emergency lights turn on. You guys can see there is a lot of them keypad 7 will turn on the siren and keypad 8 will turn on this back orange led light bar that's for the traffic it does have all working turn signals working lights you guys can see the uh, reverse light is very large it gives a pretty nice light area take a look at that pretty realistic on the inside view it does have an inside interior camera view it's not detailed i think that will be a pretty cool upgrade for the next version but we'll be taking this around and also today guys we'll be taking a look at this uh, shop right over there but this truck handles really well it has some great braking and it is very fast and the turning radius on this is pretty good all the links will be down below in the description. You guys can let me know down below in the comments what types of videos you guys would like me to do with all these cool mods. Up next, we'll be taking a look at a Lizard pickup truck pack. This is a single cab. Looks to be a short bed uh, pack. It's pretty cool. You do have the option for color changeable, the headache rack toolbox, and you could have the option for being a dually, as you guys can see. So pretty cool. We'll be hopping in this one here. It does have a lot of the cool features as the in-game Lizard truck, just a single cab. All of the lights are the same. Take a look at that. Now the uh, tailgate will go down. Very excited. I will be using more trucks that will have working tailgates. In the front, you guys can see all of the working stuff. On the inside view, working mirrors, working steering wheel. Very nice. And it is the same, just that it's a single cab. So that's pretty cool how uh, they changed that. So we'll be taking this around, seeing how it handles. And it goes 76 miles per hour. It does have the option for the gooseneck hitch in the back. Overall handling of this truck is really good. It looks to be a little body roll, which is pretty realistic for a pickup truck, and it is also a pretty quiet truck. Braking on, it does take a little bit longer to brake, but like I was saying, color changeable, we could change out the wheels, change the rim color, a lot of cool things like that. So we'll be hopping in the dually. Now you guys can see it does have a pretty different uh, rims compared to the other one, which is okay. It does have the option for everything else, so it's pretty much the same truck. We won't be going on the inside, just that this one is a dually. Up next, we'll be taking a look at this man hook truck. This thing looks pretty cool. I really do like the look of it. It looks like it's max wild, and it looks like it's pretty cool. I really do like how you have the option for blacked out wheels on it. That looks pretty cool. Very low uh, kind of guard over here, kind of stopping any rocks from kind of going into the vehicles behind. Overall, this thing looks pretty cool on the outside. It does have pretty cool steps. So on the inside, we'll be taking a look at everything. Take a look at those lights, reverse lights. Everything works on it. Now, you guys can see that back section moves around, which is very realistic for mud flaps. That's the name for them. When you do press X, it will extend out and will kind of bring itself down. You guys can see over here, it comes with its own custom color container. There is one larger container, but we don't really need that since it's pretty much the same in as the in-game, just a different color. Everything works the same. Now, once we hop on the inside, you guys can see that there's a few things. Uh, keypad 0 will turn on a cab light. Pretty cool. Now, you guys can see everything lights up on the inside, which is another cool feature. A right shift will enable IC, so it looks like we'll be able to lower down the window, open up the door. Yeah, take a look at that. Opening up the door, that's very cool. Over here, you could do the same, so I really do like that. You could lower your window, take a look at that. That's overall pretty cool. Looks like you can't really do anything else, which is okay, but this truck looks pretty cool. 51 miles per hour overall, the handling is awesome. Now, you guys can see it has a lot of lights up top and down below which is pretty cool and the turning radius on this is pretty cool looks like the back axle does turn and it's a twin steer which is very cool up next we'll be taking a look at this very large big m2 
Crone Mower. Now, this was converted. I have used this before in the older farm sims. I'm very excited for it. We'll probably be adding this to the public works in a few other uh, shops, everything like that. So, take a look at it. It has two wing mowers and then this so one and cables and everything like that down below. So, once you hop in, it does actually have a hitch in the back. All the lights do work. Take a look at that. That's pretty cool. Does have a pretty good beacon light up top, which is pretty cool. Take a look at all those for mowing, and overall, the handling is pretty cool. Now, on the inside view, you guys can see working steering wheel pretty cool. It does show how fast you are going. So, we are over here in this little section where there is some grass, so you would want to press X and it will unfold itself. It does take just a little bit of time to kind of unfold but once it's unfolded it will kind of unfold to here then you press a V to lower it down all the way take a look at that you could turn it on and now I mean this is a very efficient mower take a look at that I mean it's mowing it just awesome and it looks like it is only dropping one pass in the center so that's pretty cool how it's only doing that you guys can see that this was one very cool mower it looks like yeah it only dropped it in the center a few spots on the outside but that's very helpful up next we'll be taking a look at this placeable shop this is one very cool shop I really do like the garage doors it's pretty cool so when you do walk up we'll kind of uh, take a look at this so when you walk up you press uh let's see so you open it with mouse controls take a look at that automatically opens up over here we'll kind of check out this little area it opens up again with the open door it looks like it comes in that way you have this little storage section so you come over here to the controls you have to be near the controls you press it once and it will automatically go up just like that that's pretty cool over here you just open it once and that works and you could also turn on the shop lights it has it looks like one two three four five six seven a lot of lights over here take a look at this one so when you walk over to it you have to be over here to open it so that one works just like that and then over here there looks to be another shop light to turn on and off which is pretty cool wow really does add a lot of light to the shop and then on the uh, section over here, I really do like it. I think we'll be using this for a very cool series very soon. So this is the uh, light system. You turn it on. Very bright lights. And then you come over here to the controls and it will open up the door. Now the door is open. I really do like the style of door. Very interesting door style. But overall, this was one very cool shop. I thought I would do a review on it. All the links will be down below in the comments. Thanks for all the support on this mod review series. I really do enjoy doing these uh, weekly mod reviews, even almost daily. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the mods. Have a great day and subscribe for more.